ます。One of the most testing times for investors is when markets fall sharply, usually in response to some sort of crisis. It's very important in those situations not to act in haste. Greg Davis is an expert in investor behaviour. So, when moments of stress arrive, when markets start falling,、um, what effectively happens is our attention gets focused, and it gets focused on. The short term, and it gets focused on the detail, and that means that it starts to drive a wedge between what we as investors are trying to achieve, growing our wealth over time for the long term, and what we are emotionally paying attention to, which is what is happening in the markets now, what is happening to this asset and that asset, etc. And that wedge that gets driven in there basically means that our decision making is pulled away from our objectives, and so we start to make decisions. That are no longer about achieving what we're trying to achieve in the long term, and that are much more about satisfying our short-term need for emotional comfort. It's not irrational to look for comfort in a market crisis. The problem is that many investors pay too high a price for that comfort. For example, they'll sell all their equities once prices have already fallen. So, what's the answer? The best way. To make better decisions in a crisis is to have prepared for that crisis in advance. Is to have a set of rules that goes. I know this is going to happen at some point, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I definitely know that there are going to be times when the markets crash, when times get volatile, when there is some form of crisis in the world, and I don't want to have to make decisions from scratch in the heat of the moment under stress at that time. Another test for equity investors is when markets are riding high. That's when they feel least in need of comfort. Sometimes excitement or even greed takes over, and they decide to take on more risk. But that's usually not a good idea. So I think the advice for anyone attempted to take additional risk is exactly the same as the advice of anyone tempted to to jump out of risk at, at times when markets are crashing is. You should not be basing the amount of risk you take on your current opinions of where the market is, because we don't have a crystal ball. We can't predict it. We can't control it. So, if you are tempted to take additional risk in good times, first go back and ask yourself: What are my long-term plans? What is the level of risk I have previously decided is appropriate for those long-term plans? And am I taking that level of risk now? And if you're below it, then by all means increase your risk levels. But assuming you're already invested at the right level, it, the wrong thing to do at any point in the market cycle is to start judiciously or subjectively adjusting your risk level according to what your gut tells you right now. In summary, you should decide on the right level of risk for you and stick to it. Don't let the news or your emotions tempt you into changing course. Thank、you